Hey everyone, thank you for watching. In today's video, I'm so excited to do, it's going to be a new makeup releases video. This is my Will I Buy It series that I post every Wednesday where I chat with you over all the new makeup releases, talk about what I'm interested in buying and what I'm not so interested in buying. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. So I always start with my outfit of the day. So this is what we are wearing today. Got my slippers. These shorts are a part of like a two piece set that I have. They're just like really comfy shorts. And then I just picked up this pink top from Zara when I was in New York City with Angelica. So I'm filming this on Tuesday like I normally do for my Will I Buy It series. I got back Sunday night. I think I got home probably about 8.30. So uh, yeah, yesterday was just kind of spent trying to catch up, unpack, and then today we are getting back into the swing of things. But I will have a vlog coming. I'm editing the vlog right now. I know there's a vlog on Angie's channel. And we also did for her channel, like judging each other's travel makeup bags. And we did a live over here on my channel. So if you haven't seen it, we just did a live getting ready in our hotel room in New York City. But it was a really fun, a really fun trip. You'll see more in the vlog that I have coming up. But we did a little bit of shopping at Zara, and I just thought this was a cute pink top. So that's what I have on today. I do always link everything in my description box, everything that I'm wearing, and my makeup. I did film this look for my Instagram, just the eye look. And I used the eyeshadow palette that Urban Decay just sent over to me. This is their, one of their Naked palettes. Naked Sin is what this one is called. So it's just a pretty like basic neutral palette. So I added a little bit of liner. I got some new eyeliners from Glossier. So I tried those and then some lashes from Bright Lashes. So yeah, I'll have everything linked down below and this little tutorial will be coming to my Instagram, which is March Beauty Word. But we have so much to talk about. I feel like the last maybe like two weeks was a little bit slower for new makeup releases, but I feel like we are roaring back this week. My Instagram has been full of tags. <laughs> and even today, uh, Tuesday that I'm filming this, I did another premiere. I'm not sure if this one is gonna go up as a premiere. As a premiere, YouTube has a new system where you can, or it's, I don't think it's like new, new, but it's new-ish, uh, where you can premiere a video, which means you set a time for it, and then at that time, you can all watch it together as it's going live, and you can live chat in the comments. So I've done a couple of them, and they've been really fun. I did it today, except for they have a countdown in the beginning, and usually it's on a two-minute countdown. For whatever reason, today it was 15 minutes. I was panicking i was like can i i couldn't do anything i couldn't stop the video i couldn't do anything the only thing that i was like the only option i have is to completely delete the video and then re-upload it and try to put it up as a regular video but after 15 minutes of a countdown on the screen my video finally came on it was quite stressful so i don't know if i'm going to try to do another premiere or not because now i'm going to be afraid of them but uh, even in there, people were saying, I'm so excited for you to film your Will I Buy It. You guys wanted to hear my thoughts on so many new releases. So let's jump in. I'll scoot over so I can add in some photos. I always link all of the accounts that I'm reading from down below. And I'm going to start with Trend Mood 1. And I figure, I was like, where do we even start? Because there was so much. But I was like, you know what? Let's start with bronzer. <laughs> let's start with bronzer. You can never go wrong starting with bronzer. So uh, this is from LYS Beauty, and this is their No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick. I love me some bronzer. So a creamy bronzer stick, supposed to have a lightweight satin finish formula. Uh, looks like there's a five different shades. I don't see a price on it yet, but it says available June 8th on the website and Sephora. So the day that this video goes live, it will be available. I'm probably gonna buy it. I don't know what it is with bronzers. I love, I love bronzers. I've been buying a lot of bronzer recently. I took my makeup by Mario. I took all of my new products from my last shop with me at Sephora and my last trying new makeup video. I took all of those to New York with me. I wanted to keep testing them out. I just, I was talking in last week's Will I Bite video, there's just so many bronzers and they just keep coming out and I just want to keep trying them. So I, I've i only tried a handful of products from LYS, but one of them is right in front of me. They're Triple Fix Brightening Concealer. So many of you actually recommended this to me and I absolutely love it. So I'm thinking I might actually go to Sephora tomorrow. I might do a vlog tomorrow, just a regular vlog, not just a shop with me vlog, but just like a day in my life vlog. Might do that for tomorrow. And if I go to Sephora, I'm gonna see if they are in stores. I don't know if they will be in stores or just on the Sephora website, but otherwise I'll just, I'll just order it. <laughs> well, at least we can talk about something that I know that I'm not gonna get. This is from Makeup Forever, and this is the HD Skin Face Palettes. 
Each palette includes 12 complementary cream shades to correct and enhance your, uh, your natural beauty. There are three cream foundations, four shades of concealers and correctors, two blushes, two contouring shades, and one highlight. It's available now in the Middle East, but coming soon. Oh, let's see. Looks like August in Europe, September in Japan, October in China and North America. So we're not going to be getting these for a hot second where I am in the U.S., but I just know that this, I, to me, I just don't want something like this. I feel like I don't want something that has a bunch of different foundations, concealers, correct. I don't know. It just seems too big for me. And this was something when I first saw it, I immediately was like, no, I don't want that. And then I was like, well, think about it. Would you use it? Because I do like products that are more like, I'm, I just want to say like travel friendly, probably because I still need to unpack my travel makeup bag. I like things that have more than one product in it. So it's like, well, this, this has it all. Like you would just need to bring this. But then at the same time, I'm almost, I'm almost like, I, th I feel like it's too big for me. You know, like I just feel like it's too large. It's too much. I don't think that you can play around with the different pa pans. <laughs> pans. I haven't filmed in a really long time. Can you tell? It's been, what, a full week since I filmed a video. So here we are. Just, I feel like this is one that I want to want. I just don't think I would get a lot of use out of it. And something about all the cream just being like right, I just, I don't think I would like it. I don't think I would like it. I don't think I'd get a lot of use out of it. And I'm buying a lot of makeup, so I think I'm okay to skip over that. I definitely got a lot of tags on these blushes from Pat McGrath. She is coming out with new skin fetish blushes and highlighters. So these are really pretty. I was actually walk, walking with Angie when I got tagged on this and the OIS Beauty. So we were looking at both of them. And I know Angie, like she put the phone up to her face and was like, I was like, do I feel that way? And I was like, I mean, they're definitely really pretty. So the Divine Blush Duos are $44. The highlighters are $48. Right now, I just see coming soon on the website. I don't know. I'm definitely, you know, I'm more into my cream and liquid products right now. So with them being powder, like they're beautiful. To me, I would want a blush over a highlight. I feel like the highlights are just kind of like, okay, it's a highlight. The blushes are definitely very stunning. $44, I don't, mm, I feel like maybe I would pick up one of these blushes. And you know, the one that I kind of want is the one that like looks like the bronzer. <laughs> like, I have no idea what's wrong with me. But, or even like this one right here. That looks really pretty. I feel like I've slightly talked myself into these because why not? That's just the way all the Will I Buy It videos are going recently. I would maybe grab one of those to try it out. Also speaking of Pat McGrath, I got so many tags on this. I know in my premiere from today, so many people are saying you wanted to see my thoughts. This is from Pat McGrath. And when I first started getting tagged, I glanced at the eyeshadow palette first and I was like, who is this? Pat McGrath, this is the new mini eyeshadow palette in Midnight Voyage. This is a limited edition palette. It has five of the most loved eyeshadows complemented by the debut of the metallic bronze Venus. This is gonna be $29 and available June 11th at Sephora. I don't know because I was getting some comments from people saying, I just don't think this looks special. I don't think this is as pretty as her other palettes, but I kinda like it. <laughs> grab this one and I mean it's $29 which compared to the other Pat McGrath palettes they are so expensive the first Pat McGrath palette that I bought was actually a little mini and it was like clear packaging I think it came out around holiday time and that one I want to say was probably around the same price tag probably around the $29 and while it didn't become an absolute favorite of mine some of those shimmers in there were those really pretty like special shimmers that Pat McGrath has and I was like ooh, and I you know, only had to pay this amount of money in order to get those and not buy these huge 129 palettes. I love purples, I love wearing purple, so that immediately grabs my attention. Like maybe if this was a color scheme that I just didn't wear a lot, but like the photo of the eye look that's smoky purple, I wanna do that. I'm probably gonna get this one. It's limited edition, which I'm kind of bummed about. I also wonder, is she gonna be coming out with more like this? Like more of a color story with these limited edition? Because this to me seems kind of random. Like I won't lie about that. Like this to me, I'm like, what are, what are we doing with this? Where are we going with that? I'm a little bit confused, but you know, confusion isn't gonna hold me back. It's not gonna hold me back. I think I'm still gonna pick this one up. I actually tried to buy a lipstick from the Pat McGrath Bridgerton collection when we were at the big Sephora in Times Square but they did not have them. I was very sad about that, so. 
another new one from Tarte, new addition to the Shape Tape family, the Shape Tape Glow Bronze. You can get it now for a limited time with a free bronzer brush. It's $29 and a $61 value. That seems like quite the steal. So it says formulate it with a diamond powder to help filter out imperfections and brighten the look of the skin. Uh, it's supposed to give you a natural matte finish. I don't know. I mean, I like bronzers. And this, so this sounds like a glowy bronzer. Tarte, I'm just not all that interested in. I've bought a handful of new products from them recently. And by handful, I mean, I can think of one off the top of my head. No, two, two, the concealer and the like Hydroflex skin tint. Yes. See, two. I bought two recently from Tarte and I just am not blown away by the brand. Like I just, I don't know. The packaging doesn't really do much for me. Honestly, when I first saw it, I thought maybe of like an Essence or maybe even like a Milani. Like I feel like it kind of reminds me of their like baked products, but I just don't think I would get enough use out of that one. And then from Chanel Beauty, so we have new extensions of the La Beige line. Sounds right up my alley, quite honestly. We have new shades of the La Beige Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream, now available in medium bronze and deep bronze. These are $50 each. And limited edition oversize of the La Beige Healthy Glow Powder in light, medium, and deep, which is $88. And the oversized Kabuki brush is $65. And you get free shipping on any order. I would hope so. So, I don't know. The Chanel, the bronzing cream, I tried this years and years ago when it was, like, blowing up. Right? Is, is this the same product? Because I feel like it was... It, went away and it was reformulated and came back so i've tried that years ago and i didn't lose my mind over it sometimes i think about grabbing one of these just to be able to try it again for review <laughs> purposes and sakes let me know if you think this is something i have to have in my collection i have to have in my collection the powder i'm not gonna lie i was kind of like oh but I just bought the Makeup by Mario powder. I obviously love my Dior. I wore the Dior powder no powder a lot in New York because I just think that it's fabulous. So it's like, I kind of want to try it, but I definitely don't need the like oversize version. Like I'm all about minis. Like the smaller, the better for, smaller, the better for me when it comes to makeup. And the Kabuki brush doesn't really do much for and me. And then one more thing with Chanel, they are coming out with the Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch with micro droplet pigments to even illuminate and hydrate. Natural and buildable, healthy looking glow, refreshing, lightweight texture, keeps skin hydrated, it gives a natural flawless finish in 16 shades for $85. This sounds like a product I would like to try, but like full free, you know? What's that commercial that it's like full free? Like everything's full free. Like that's what I would like. I would like to not spend $85 on this product if I'm just like being straight with you. I'm just being honest with you. That seems like a lot of money for this very natural type of product. And I had a hard enough time forking over $64 for the Ilya SPF, which I did wear that a lot in New York as well. And I had really good luck with it. I was very pleased with it. So that's good. It held up really, like we walked, obviously we were just doing a ton of walking. It held up really nicely. So I was impressed with that. But still that was $64 for, you know, a tinted SPF. And that I was like, well, at least I'm getting the SPF because I'm always trying to protect my face. This I'm like, a part of me really does want to try it to be like, what, what is it? Why is this price tag $85? But then at the same time, I'm like, but do I have to be the one to tell you why it's worth $85 or not worth $85? Or can someone else do that? I don't know. I just feel like I've been spending a lot of money on makeup recently. And I don't feel like I have been. I know I have been because I look at my spreadsheets every month and I just closed out for the month of May. And I was like, you have a problem, Samantha. And I just got a new accountant. My new accountant is going to be like, what? What are you doing? Good thing I share them with Michelle Wong. Maybe he won't be so alarmed when he sees my makeup column. I'm like trying to talk myself into it now. And that's why I've been babbling on about this one, but I'm gonna try to refuse that one. Some more powders that are coming out. When I first saw these, I thought this was the Givenchy press powder that I've been waiting for, but this is actually from Moira Cosmetics, ultra fine weightless formula with four complementary shades that will correct uneven skin tone, brighten and add radiance to the complexion. These are gonna be $15 each. Okay. I'm very curious about these because like I said, when I first saw these, I genuinely thought like Givenchy has their like Libra 
uh, loose powder and they're coming out with a press version but like when I don't know because I feel like I've been waiting to buy this forever and it's still not out I don't, this kind of looks like it would be really similar to that and this is $15 and I just know deep within my soul that the the Givenchy is not going to be $15 like something's just telling me that's not going to be it so I don't know I've never tried Moira cosmetics but I'm kind of curious to pick this up I might have to grab another thing that I am going to be grabbing and this is Angie's fault this is new from give beauty this is Gwen Stefani's brand that's available at Sephora so she just launched us a new lip products so we have the original matte me lipstick which is $26 but they launched they came out with red shades originally and now they have a beige peachy neutral and a brown peachy neutral love the sounds of that they also have the Anaheim Shine Satin Lipsticks at $26. I'm Still Here Matte Liquid Lipstick at $24. And then there's a new formula, the Extra Sauce Longwear Vinyl Liquid Lipstick, which is $24 in a true red. So what I am most interested in is the um, matte lipstick. I'm trying to decide if I want to pick up Tragic Me or Lovable Me or just grab them both. I'm not really sure which one, but Angie was telling me that she really liked, she grabbed some of the reds from the first launch, and she said she really liked the formula. I just don't wear reds very often, so I, I didn't really feel like buying anything from the launch, but if she's gonna be launching nudes, that I will definitely wear. So I'm gonna grab, again, when I go to Sephora, hopefully tomorrow, I'm gonna grab either one or two shades from that. The new formula with the vinyl liquid lipstick, that's just not a formula that, that, that I prefer on my lips, and again, it's the red. I just don't wear those all that often, but I'm definitely going to be picking up some of those nude lips. Now, I've definitely gotten a ton of tags on Anastasia, and she's got a handful of new products that are coming out. So first, we have the Nouveau palette. This is a 12-pan palette filled with amped up neutrals and unique olive tones in gorgeous metallics and rich mattes. This collection for summer is going to be launching June 13th, so it'll be launching next week. So we have the 12-pan palette cream bronzer, stick blush, and also a lip gloss. So this is the picture that uh, Anastasia is showing. So the blushes look like they have the brush on one side. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like the makeup by Mario. Then we have the glosses, cream bronzers, and then the palette. So I definitely got the most amount of tags on the eyeshadow palette. And once again, when I was getting the tags and I was just seeing the picture, like I hadn't like clicked on it yet, I was like, I don't know who that's going to be. So to see that it was Anastasia, I was like, okay. And I don't know. Honestly, I feel like I don't hate this. Once again, I feel like a lot of the comments were like, this is boring. There's no color story. Like, I don't, I don't like it. And I'm like, I don't know. I kind of like it. And some people were saying they didn't like that purple in there. I think that's kind of fun. I don't know. I was kind of feeling on it. So I don't think I see... A price yet yeah no I don't see a price on it yet for this one but it says features mattes and multi-dimensional metallics in a mix of everyday neutrals pop of color with a fresh green color story again I don't know if I would see like a green color story here to me it's kind of more definitely more of a neutral palette but you have like that purple in there that pop of orange the shimmers look pretty I wouldn't say that I think it's the most cohesive eyeshadow palette but there's a lot of eyeshadow palettes that I enjoy or that I buy that I don't think are the most cohesive eyeshadow palettes but for whatever reason this one to me when I first saw it I definitely did do a double take I was like oh okay um I feel like I could get down with that. I, I try to break them down in either like quads. I know like Sigma Beauty does their eyeshadow palettes like that. And once I learned that, I kind of look at all palettes that way and see if I can kind of rearrange a little bit in my mind to what I feel like I can do. And when I do it that way, I feel like there's a lot of different looks that I could probably do with this one. And I like playing with color, but I usually like something too that's a little bit more like everyday wearable and the air quotes and that sort of thing maybe a little bit more on like the basic like quick and easy type side and i feel like i could get it done with this palette right now i'm thinking of picking up that one let me know if you'd want to see looks with it would you be more interested in the pat mcgrath i don't think that the this one is limited edition as far as i can see but from the anastasia collection i think that's the only thing that i'm really interested in grabbing i don't really feel like i want the blush the lip glosses from anastasia i think are okay but the cream brown like nothing else is really pulling to me besides that eyeshadow palette and there's a lot else going on with other brands so i think i'm gonna end up grabbing that one. all right so wet and wild is coming out with a new collection this is a new disney collection and this is with stitch so Okay, here we go. So we have some sponges, 
face palettes, setting mist, eye and face palette, there's makeup bags, glosses, eye products, mascara. Looks like everything is gonna be under $10. Right now I see coming soon and it was available to pre-order this morning on Amazon, so that's interesting. I will say when I first saw this collection and especially the eyeshadow palette, I thought that this was ColourPop. And even as I was sitting here, I said ColourPop has a new collection out and then I corrected myself and came back to say, Wet n Wild has a new collection out. So I don't, this really, to me, did not give me Wet n Wild vibes, which honestly, like, I also don't hate. Wet n Wild is always so affordable, which is great, but sometimes their packaging doesn't really call to me because it looks like just not something that's really calling to me. <laughs> but this, I think, is really pretty. And the eyeshadow palette, it's a little bit larger, but I like some of those fun colors. Now, am I familiar with Stitch? No. I am not, but I was actually walking with Angie and I got tagged on it and I was like, do you know who, I think I said Lila or Lilo or what is it? No, it's Le it's Lilo, I think I'm wrong. Lilo and Stitch. And I think I was saying like Lila cause I just saw, I saw someone tag me and say, but does she know who Lilo and Stitch is? And my mind read it as Lila. And Angie was like, what are you talking about? And then we got to Stitch and she was like, you've never seen Stitch? And I was like, should I have? Uh, no, I definitely have not. But it sounds, she was explaining the, I think it was a show and a movie. She was explaining it to me. It sounds quite nice. It sounds like it was set in Hawaii. Love that. I think this collection looks really pretty though. The sponges look fun. The eyeshadow palette, like if I didn't have my eye on some other palettes, I feel like maybe I'd grab this one. I even like the face palette. I think some of the shades in there look cool. Uh, I like some of the imprints on the eyeshadow palette as well. It's like one is like an ice cream cone and a drink. I think this collection is really well done. It's very eye-catching. Even if you are maybe not necessarily a Stitch fan, I think that you could see this as a makeup lover and be like, oh, that's pretty or that's vibrant or I could use that face palette. Isn't that a cute sponge? So I think that's kind of neat. Again, I just feel like there's some other things that I have my eye on more but if you wanted to see something from this collection please do let me know but i think that's really well done okay we have a new collection as well with makeup revolution and they are collabing with coca-cola inspired by the new space flavor intergalactic what there's a new like a new flavor of coke oh okay so we have some palettes we have mini palettes glosses highlighters and makeup bag mascara looks like these are going to be available now also going to be available july 10th at target you know I don't really drink soda anymore, or at least I try not to drink. I had a Sprite in New York and I felt pretty fancy when I had my piece of pizza. I don't really drink a lot of soda, but if I do, it's either going to be a Coke or a Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper is probably my favorite though. This doesn't do anything to me. It's a larger palette. I don't really get what it has to do with the collaboration. I'm a little bit confused. I about makeup revolution basically every single week and they usually it's usually another collab another collection they don't seem to release a lot on their own merit anymore it seems to be a lot of these collections and they just aren't really doing it for me so i'm gonna pass on so that. i did touch on this uh maybe two weeks ago but we now see the first launch this is with Isamaya Beauty by Isamaya French. So the first launch for the brand, we have a color pigment eyeshadow palette. There's a mascara, a lip serum, a clear brow gel, and a hyaluronic glow serum. This is gonna be uh, available at the end of, end of June on the website. So the prices are pretty expensive. So it looks like this is gonna be 95 euros. Let me convert that real quick. 95 euros a dollar, so it's $101.72. Uh, if I could borrow 72 cents, that'd be great. Uh, so these are, they're, they're going to be pretty pricey. 35 euros for the mascara, 32 for the lip serum, even the brow gel is 30. So it's going to be a pricey brand, which, um, it is what it is. I mean, every brand gets to set their own prices and do what they may. And then it's up to us if we want to purchase from them or not. So I don't know if there's anything that I feel like I need to grab in here. Like I was saying, when I first talked about, about the brand, I'm familiar with Isamaya French, but the... The like marketing promo photos were absolutely beautiful. This looks cool. The eyeshadow palette kind of reminds me, I feel like maybe I'm thinking of Byredo, but I might be wrong. I feel like I'm thinking of something when I look at the eyeshadow palette, but the, like the packaging on everything it has this very like edgy feel to it. And uh, and that's neat. I just don't think it's really gonna be for me. Juvia's Place is coming out with some lashes. So we have the Nubian lashes for $13. These are 100% vegan mink silky lightweight strands. 
All right, um, so they look really nice. I don't think that I would need them though. I really am obsessed with the bright lamp, the bright lashes from Angela Bright's line. I've just been wearing these so much and I think that they're fantastic. Um, the pair that I have on today, I believe is in, yeah, in Vivid. I really like the flutter lashes. I basically use those until I can't use those anymore. I was gonna put them in my empties bin, but I've just been wearing a lot of those. So I think that I'm pretty, pretty okay on my lashes. Uh, I see from Trixie Cosmetics, they are celebrating Pride Month with the Color Me Gay set. This is a lip gloss bundle that includes six of your old favorites plus a new arrival, hi gay, a sheer gloss with rainbow reflect glitter. This is gonna be $96. And then I think that it also comes in this, it says incredibly gay bus display box. Will be available June 3rd on the website. So that is available now. I haven't tried anything from Trixie Cosmetics yet. I don't think that I need a set of glosses at this time, but I love the idea behind it. I love the concept behind it. Uh, I think that's fabulous. So that's available now if you would be interested. Uh, I see from JLo Beauty, she has a new product and a new set that is out. The new product is the Overnight Hustle AHA BHA Resurfacer for $58. So I have quite a few products like this. I have one from Pharmacy that I really enjoy. So it's not something that I feel like I need right now. And I try not to use exfoliating products as frequently as I once did. I feel like my skin has gotten it better for that. <laughs> and then we do also have a new set to brighten, tighten, and hydrate. A three-piece set is gonna be $64 for a full size of the eye cream, also the JLo Glow Serum and the Blockbuster Hydrating Cream, all coming soon to Sephora. I haven't tried JLo Beauty yet. It just, it just hasn't quite excited me enough to purchase something. Kim Kardashian is back with a new brand and this is Skin. So I think a lot of us were wondering what it was that she was going to be doing with KKW Beauty. And instead of coming out with makeup, we now have skincare. So the first launch includes a cleanser, toner, exfoliator, hyaluronic acid serum, vitamin C8 serum, and eye cream, face cream, oil drops, and night oil. So this is gonna be available June 21st uh, on the website. I like the packaging of it, uh, kind of that simplistic, I, I mean, it, it def definitely reminds me of Kim Kardashian, like this very like nude beige, like kind of what KKW Beauty was like as well. Do I feel like I have to have any of this? No, you know, not to just like automatically compare her to Kylie Cosmetics, but like Kylie Skin hasn't interested me either. Her name being on skincare doesn't make me want to buy it. I don't want to say that it doesn't make me not want to buy it because her name's on the skincare, but it doesn't. I don't feel compelled to go and buy it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm probably gonna pass on that unless people start telling me that there's something that's just so fabulous I need to run out and grab. I think I'm okay to skip on that one. Lawless Beauty is coming out with uh, their new Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask in a Cherry Vanilla. I still need to try this mask. I have it and I really need to try the original one, but I've been getting so many lip masks recently, so I've been trying to go through them. I really want to, want to do a video on lip masks. I don't know if people would find that interesting, but I love lip masks and I wear them all the time. So these are $21 coming soon to the website at Sephora. Uh, so I'm gonna be trying mine soon so I can tell you how I feel about it. I think that is almost about done. If I didn't mention, I do have a giveaway in this video. I don't think I said that in the beginning, but if you've made it this far, I do have another giveaway in here. Fenty Beauty is coming out with the Cherry Treat Conditioning Lip Oil. This is technically from Fenty Skin. An ultra hydrating lip oil goes on clear, cushions lips, condition softens and smooths them. It says coming soon to the website and Sephora. I do like me a lip oil. I do want to try the ones from Lunar Beauty. Again, Angie has been recommending those to me for so long. I really do want to pick up one of those. She had it in her New York because we did a video judging each other's makeup bags. So I was looking at it there. So I kind of want to grab that one, but I do like a good lip oil and that does sound really nice so that could i could see that being like an impulse purchase on my end uh, makeup eraser is coming out with the new gummy bear a seven day set seven mini sizes sustainable makeup removing fiber cloth set these are going to be 25 dollars. i really like products like the makeup erasers i have a lot like that um currently i'm using the ones from three ships beauty they have their like bamboo uh, cleansing pads and they have little sayings on them, which I really appreciate. So that's what I'm using right now, but I think these are great. It's not something that I need, but I like the gummy bear feel to it. Kind of makes me wish I had some gummy bears right now. I'm not gonna lie, those sound quite nice. There was some makeup news from Lime Crime. They posted a statement. They're gonna be decreasing their makeup prices 30 to 50% anywhere the brand is sold. They're gonna be improving sustainable packaging and clean formulas, and they're now inside Target and Walmart. 
I don't know, I haven't really tried a lot from Lime Crime recently. They haven't been a brand that's really called my attention a whole lot over the years. But I thought that that was interesting. They released a statement and, and, and Trendmood does have it on her page if you would want to to read the whole thing, but it says, for starters, we don't believe that there should be a high price on creativity, which is why of June 1st, they're decreasing their products, different things like that. So that's interesting, because that's not something you see from a brand very often. If anything, it's usually that prices are going up. And I find it interesting right now that they're decreasing their prices because inflation is kind of all that I think about. Being, I'm a brand owner myself, not in the makeup space, but with stationery, I've been ordering new launches for the brand and everything has gone up. The cost of um, like the materials that I use, that has gone up. The price of shipping the products to me, that has gone up. My Shopify has gone up. Um, everything like my newsletter fee, like I pay a fee for my newsletters that I send out about every month or so. That price has gone up literally prices have gone up everywhere so it's just interesting to me that right now they're decreasing their prices but if you're really interested in lime crime yay speaking of a lot of money the new dyson air wrap multi styler complete long is now available at alta beauty so this is good it includes new and re-engineered attachments with enhanced kawanda airflow an aerodynamic phenomenon that uses air to attract and wrap hair to the barrel or the surface of the brush. Curl, shape, smooth, and hide flyaways. $599.99. You know, that is what it is. I know so many people that absolutely love their Dyson Airwrap, and I love that for them. I just, I, ugh. Like, there's been a lot of times where I've been like, I think I'm gonna buy that, and then I always chicken out. I'm like, I just, I don't know if I can do that. Maybe one day in my life I will own this. I don't want to say that I would never buy it because it does, it's, it seems so easy. But for me, like I have a hard enough time just working my own laptop. Like, can you imagine me trying to operate this thing? I just don't know if it would work out very well. But that's available now if you're interested in it. If you've been thinking about buying the old one, this is supposed to be, you know, re-engineered and better for you and your hair. So that's available. Sol de Janeiro is coming out with some new scents for summer. So this is their perfume mist set. This is going to be limited edition. It's available on their website. I like the Sol de Janeiro scents. I have like the, is it like a caramel one that I've been using quite a bit. It kind of makes me feel like I smell like a candle, which I enjoy. So I like those. I like these like bright colors on the packaging. I think that's really pretty. So that's available now if you are interested from Sol de Janeiro. And then I think the last thing that I saw is, nope, we got two more things. Drunk Elephant. This is going to be a long video. Drunk Elephant is going to be launching the Silk Aminos line, launching June 12th on the website and Sephora and Alta Beauty. Did I know Drunk Elephant was at Alta Beauty? Silk Aminos acid strengthen and moisturize, leaving even the driest and most damaged hair smoother and softer. So there's going to be a shampoo, a mega moisturizing masker, and also the conditioning leave-in milk. Okay. I like the, like... The Drunk Elephant hair products and skin products, like body products, I definitely did not mind those. I don't know if there's anything that I loved so much that I was like, I have to always have this in my collection kind of thing, but I liked them and I used up their products all the way. So am I running to get this? No, but those are some new releases coming from Drunk Elephant. And then lastly, I see About Face is coming to Alta Beauty. So this is Halsey's brand. We have no details yet of when it's coming or if it'll be online or also in stores, but we know that About Face will be coming into Alta Beauty. So I think that's interesting. If you like products from them, stay tuned because hopefully we'll be finding out some more information. But I have been doing weekly giveaways in this video. So the winner from last week, I just posted it and pinned the comment. I believe the name was Tana. Tana Z I have in my head. So make sure to check last week's video to see if you are the winner, but let's hop into this week's giveaway. Right, I've just been putting some little prize packs together in my Will I Buy It videos and doing little giveaways here. So in this week's, I have some different eyeshadow palettes from ColourPop. I have their All Amethyst palette. And then, oh, I guess I can show you what it looks like. This is the All Amethyst palette eyeshadow palette a nine pan from ColourPop, and then i also have from sydney grace this one is their coffee talk palette like so so more of a so a little bit more purple then a little bit more of a neutral palette and then from sigma beauty i have their ivy eyeshadow palette looks like so so you got some fun pops color in here so a little bit of a variety with eyeshadow palettes and then also from sigma i have the color me proud mini brush set so they did they just released this for pride month so it's available on the sigma website as well but you have three brushes in here and then from sigma their lip care trio this is a balm gloss and also lip mask 
And then a few more products I have from Juvia's Place. I have the Heroin Glow 1 and also two. These are the baked highlighters from Juvia's Place. So there's two in there. From NARS, I have a liquid blush in Orgasm. I just want to know who remembers the liquid blush from NARS. Me, years ago, red wall days, terrified thumbnail. You know what's so weird? Oh my gosh, you know what's so weird? I'm gonna have to double check if this is correct, but I'm pretty sure in that video where I tried the NARS liquid blush, I'm pretty sure I'm wearing the shirt that I was wearing this morning when I was working out. If that's right, that's gonna be so funny that that's how vividly I can remember that video. Weird. And then just a few skincare products I have from Pop. This is their Extra Lit B Shot and Exfoliating Serum. And from Bliss, their Bright Idea Vitamin C Tripeptide Collagen Protecting Serum. So, little skincare in here. So, that is the prize pack for this week. So, as always, to enter into my giveaways, just make sure that you are a subscriber here. Double check. YouTube is unsubscribing literally hundreds and thousands of people from me. So make sure that you uh, double check that you are a subscriber here and then just leave a comment below and include the hashtag Sam Squad. I will be picking a winner from that hashtag. So if you don't wanna enter but you wanna leave a comment on these new makeup releases, just don't include the hashtag Sam Squad. Uh, what I do when I draw a winner is I will respond back to your comment. YouTube is making it very difficult for us to communicate with each other because when anyone leaves a way to contact them, their email or their Instagram, YouTube is deleting that comment. So it's been a little bit of a tough one, but so far we've been making it through. But sometimes I just ask if you can message me on Instagram or email me or something because YouTube is making it very hard. And like I did mention last week, a lot of us have been getting hit with a spam accounts. So if you see something that says Samantha March Telegram or Samantha March WhatsApp, that's not me. I will only be responding from my verified YouTube channel. That is it. I will not be asking you for payment or anything like that. All I need is your mailing address so I can ship out the package to you. I was actually, I was just talking about this with Kelly and Angie and we're like, it's so strange how YouTube can delete comments that have someone's Instagram handle in there, yet they can't delete an ac a whole account. They can't ban an account that has the word telegram in it or whatsapp and that's clearly a, sp a spam account no they can't they can't figure that part out or how to properly do a premiere anyways that is it for this week's video and this week's giveaway i hope you will get entered if you want to win in these prizes and again i believe it's tana took last week's video uh, so i can send out that prize package to you but other than that that is going to do it for today if you enjoyed this one please make sure to give it a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i'll see you in my next video bye